Hi guys, uh, here is a demonstration of uh, interoperation between uh, <coughs> Rhino and Tecla. So if you have a Rhino model, you can easily bring it into Tecla. So here is the demo. Uh, so this is the Rhino model which I have created and uh, I have grouped it into several parts as such uh, so that uh, we can uh, use this to apply uh, uh, the profiles in uh, Grasshopper to be shown in uh, Tecla. So here I have grouped it into three parts, uh, the column beam and the surface. So uh, for the beam, I have uh, uh, these blocks like beam, column and these plate blocks are available in this Tecla tab. And uh, this uh, curve and uh, the surface uh, are available in the parameters. Uh, tab. So I have uh, used the uh, curve here and the surface here and the curve again here. So uh, and I have uh, given the profile also for the beam column uh, and uh, for the plate it will take as such. So when I just uh, recompute it, uh, we will get the structure in Tecla uh, as shown here. So in this way, whatever uh, we, uh, whatever Rhino model we have, we can just uh, group it to our uh, convenience, and uh, we can uh, assign profiles, and we can uh, uh, see that in Tecla the changes how it happens in Tecla. So if we have uh, some uh, irregular object or some uh, block items, we can also use this uh, item block in uh, steel and item block in concrete. Uh, and then uh, we can uh, take the model into Tecla and we can uh, do any, uh, any type of editing works in uh, Tecla itself.